ओके गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर अमेजिंग ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू जनरेट दिस अमेजिंग थ्री डी मॉडल्स विद ए आई लाइक फॉर इफ यू डोंट नीड टू लर्न एनी थ्री डी मॉडलिंग और टेक्चरिंग टू क्रिएट स्टर्निंग थ्री डी मॉडल्स यू जस्ट नीड अ टेक्स डिस्क्रिप्शन और अ रेफरेंस इमेज एंड यू वल हैव यू मोटर रेडी विद इन फ्यू क्लिक्स साउंड क्रेजी राइट सो इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू अवर एवर टोल रोड इंजन वन विच मेक दिस पॉसिबल लेट मी शो यू हाउ यू कैन डू दिस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू गो टू दिस साइट create an account and after signing in you will see this interface and one more thing guys if you sign up from my referral link you will get 50% extra credits on your first purchase so make sure to use my referral link i will provide you in the description so let's start with today's amazing tutorial okay guys so after signing in you will see interface like this here we have two options first uh, reference image and second text input let's first check out here what's here so basically here are the generated models which other users have created so if we click on this okay so you can see how this have good details and how nicely it has generated okay and if you want to download it you can simply use it by using one credit from your total credits okay you can use any model simply with one credit so first we will use the reference image model okay so i will uh, so i'm going to generate this model as you can see this is paid model and the price of this model is 3.99 dollar so let's try why not we generate this model with the ai as you can see this is paid model but what if we generate this model with a free ai tool sounds great so let's try it okay so what i will do i will just do a simple screenshot and save this okay so now let's upload our image reference and click on the generate now it's going to be preparing and generating model now wait for the next step okay so we have got this interface okay so here we have three clay viewport options and one normal map view option so this is nice our model is looking good and you can see it is nicely generated from the reference image now if we come here and here you have different options like for the geometry options like If we just hold shift and just use scroll button you can go through to this options also like character game ready complex geometry sharp edges so the model does not have complex geometry and does not have sharp edges also because it is smooth so we have smooth edges and come to the direction uh, just the weights and direction of each image when multiple images are present so we are, so we are not using multiple images we are using only one image okay so now let's give a direction like it is the front right okay so this is okay now here is the confirm button and if we hover to this button here we have polygons options like the 3000 5000 10000 and 30000 mostly i use 30000 option because it gives nice mesh and high quality details and here is the hyper like uh, takes more time but provides finer processing for thin surfaces so i don't mostly use this so i will go with 30000 and here is the redo button uh, what redo button do is each time we press it it will it will give us a new variation each time like if you don't like the generation uh, of the model you can simply press the redo button and it will give you new results okay so like we have changed it to 30000 and now we will click on the redo and now let's see what happens and you can see we have now so much good detail like the smoothness and details of the mesh now it's looking very good and uh, here we have the history option also sometime after the generation of the model you don't like the new results so basically you can move back to the previous one by simply clicking on this thumbnail so i'm not going to do that so i think uh, mesh is good for me it will ask me for one credit for the confirmation of the model so it will use one credit from your total credits so confirm it and you can see it is so good and so detailed like you can see the smoothness and the detail of the mesh and if we go to the wireframe option and you can see it has so good detail of the topology now go back to the geometry view okay so this is so much good and it has saved a lot of time like if we we will create this in 3d it will take so much time to create to give this detail to the model and but with the help of ai uh, we just generated uh, created it in seconds like just few clicks so this is great 
now come to the material uh, texture generations here we have two options pbr temperature effects complexity of detail in pbr and reference strength higher values are closer to the reference image okay so before generation of the textures i will show you uh, amazing feature of mesh editor so so basically here we got the sculpt feature the sculpt mode comes in 3d softwares but if we go in a you can say a web tool like we are not installed any software but using only a website we got this amazing feature so this is so cool and with the help of this feature you can add so much detail onto your model like let me show you if we here's the radius it will control the brush size if we okay larger larger and you can see size increased but i will make it smaller like this and if i click on this and you can see it is now creating the extra mesh on the on our mesh and if i make it negative so now it's going in inside sides okay and uh, let me control z first and if we do the crease pressure option and this will do this type of to make it more depth and create further detail in the mesh like you can see let me control z like this in this case uh, if you want to make it more depth and more detail like going inside you can simply create this with the help of this uh, brush and if let me show you the smooth brush and it will not smooth it okay so you can see now we have make it more detailed and uh, if we press the flatten it will simply flat the surface like you can see can see now let me control c because my model is almost good and i don't need to use this and here is the last move tool basically with this we can move our mesh something like this like this let me control z uh, this feature is uh, really good you should use this when you generate any model you can add the extra detail and if you found some issues in your model you can simply make the adjustment with the help of these brushes so this is so much good so confirm it so this will apply this uh, adjustments to into our model uh, you can see here we got a node export as high poly to keep all the details in the mesh editor okay so if you have a very good detail model and you have made some uh, adjustments changes in the mesh editor you should have export it to high poly so it will contain the all the extra details in the mesh okay so so this is good to go now let's generate our texture this is so much cool. you can see those details they were present in the image like in the real like in the real model you can see those texture details and we just code this also in our this model like if you just uh, increase the reference strength and PBR textures this will add the more details in the texture from the reference image so this is really good so you can see it's added more details in the texture and this is really awesome like you guys uh, you have seen like how easily we can get we can generate any model with the help of this tool like if you found any reference image or any model that available on other sites but you can't able to download it but with the help of this tool you can simply generate any model with some few clicks so this is really awesome you must use it if you are 3d artist you use 3d models most oftenly you must try this website and this tool this is just so great you can see how much it's had saved over time we we didn't did any texturing any modeling with just few click and with a reference image we just have created this model so this is so much good you must try it okay so let me confirm it okay so guys our model is ready to download now we have this options like base model lod and high poly i will download it as high poly because it will give it will contains more details and high quality mesh so high poly i mostly use fbx model but you can use other options like we have five uh, format options but i mostly use fbx so i will go with the fbx and uh, for the material section like we have shaded yes select like the shaded you will get only one texture with all the details of the texture if you choose pbr uh, this will give us the uh, each map uh, like separately normal map roughness metallic and base map Okay, so I will go with the PBR. So now click on the download and wait for the downloading of model. Okay, guys. So now I have downloaded the model. Now I will open the Blender and we will import this model into the Blender. 
okay guys so now i have opened the blender now i know i will import the model like the fbx import fbx now just simply drag your fbx into this and click import and we go to our model into the scene now move it up a little bit now good now let's go into the shading viewport and and guys you can see this is just amazing this says my hours of working time like with just few clicks and with a reference image i just got this model in few seconds and here are the textures like the base map roughness metallic and the normal one when you click on download button you will get a zip file when you will extract that you will have these files like one fbx and five ppr textures okay one more thing i really liked about drawing that you don't need to connect these maps manually like you just simply have to import the model and you will get these maps connected automatically and guys this is amazing like you can see this model is amazing like if you want to make it shinier you can just disconnect the roughness map and you will go this look but i will also keep it roughness like this so guys i hope you liked it and guys you have seen like how easily we have created this model with the help of ai like just with a reference image or with just few clicks so this is amazing must try it so now we will use the second option text input and we will generate our model from the text description type a text and tick k okay. now you will see the this image window and basically this is our generating images for our model and if you don't like it just simply click on the reload button it will generate a new image i like this one now i will go with this option now click on the generate okay so you will see this interface and here you will see our generated model and guys uh, now i will simply generate my model because in the previous example i have shown you all the options features that wrote in one now i will simply create my model okay guys so i will repeat those same steps like select the fbx and uh, import it into the blender and here we go to our final model which we have generated okay guys so now i have opened the blender now we will start our tutorial the second part we have fixing creation for this i will use geo tracker uh, i will show you the press of tracking in tracking with geo tracker and this is really cool and easy rather than struggling the sole points in blender uh, blender tracking so this is just really amazing and cool so let's start by going to geo tracker first i use the geo tracker okay create new geo tracker select the video i will provide you the link in description you can easily download my video if you want to use it okay so downloads i will select my footage and okay now i will create a simple cube for the geometry okay and like this i will make it a little bit less higher control all transforms and make it huge okay so now i will simply select the geometry i will create a new camera move it just a little back side select the camera I always apply the tracking data into the camera rather than objects. So camera, start focal length, start pin mode, center geo. So we'll just put it to the center. And if you don't see that object clearly, you can simply go into this appearance and make it more uh, appealing. Okay, so now select this and move it around here. This is so tall, the, which I just don't want. So I will simply exit the pin mode. Height, I will simply just extrude it and yeah this is looking good to me okay so now what i will do i will simply all transforms insert face like this to create a border now i will simply extrude it inside view like this okay now i will simply start pin mode and from this i'll simply just place those here here I'll just check it in camera viewport okay guys so our tracking is completed you can see this is so much easier than blender tracking so now let's start next step okay so guys for this i will just first select this part i'll simply just simply show it simply separate the selection okay i will delete this face and for this face i will simply do the center of this face i simply separate it okay 
and for this i will select this edge set origin to 3d cursor for this step also cursor to selected set origin to 3d cursor okay so now for this we have set it over rotate on this to make it rotate it like this okay so okay i will simply hit this face i will keep only this face so i will select this face control i for the inverse selection hide it and control r to edge loop now we simply insert the face like this okay now i simply move this is looking good now let me simply extrude it and we will add our object from this from from this part from the bottom side our object will come from the down to the upside we'll simply duplicate that part you we'll simply move it here okay now i will simply separate it okay control r for the edge loop make it separate also okay now i will do the same step again cursor to selected set origin to cursor cursor to selected set origin to 3d cursor okay now again i will simply rotate it like this and from bottom side okay so our animation part is completed now we'll have to just set up the the materials okay now if we go into the viewport options and first and guys you know in my every tutorial i give you the free premium assets so in this tutorial i'm giving you this two procedural shaders okay so now i will simply copy those copy objects and paste into my this scene and now i will simply delete this because our materials will be imported in this blender file so now i will select the turbo quiz terrazzo okay so you can see added to the scene now i will simply select these two objects and apply the hollow glitch on this and i will simply select this and for the last select this and press control l and materials and you can see our materials are implemented to the object okay if you want to decrease the size of this tile you can simply do by going to the shader viewport okay and simply decrease this something like this okay this is looking good to me now i will add one more object uh, material to this hold out now i will add this all touch to add all this and edge to add this assign and make it hold out okay add a new window and make our timeline here okay like this and if we okay so now let's get the animation of these objects simply fire view like this okay turn on the water key okay g press again for the g to add the to add a key point select again on the third 14 move it here this will be enough like this okay and if we like this okay this is looking good okay and again same with this so when it comes like this and here it will open the upper side windows okay so this is looking good to me i'm just trying to keep the tutorial as short as possible so obviously guys you can add the details more by adding your more time on this scene okay so now i will simply add a solidifier model to make it more thin like 0 0.5 or 0 0 0.03 but in opposite direction okay i will select this and i will control l copy the modifiers okay and same with this so now let's keep it as it is because i don't think so there is any need okay this is looking good to me okay guys so now let's do lighting fill transparent okay so okay guys so let's add the hro to our scene and delete this environment textures open i will provide you the link in description the hro which i'm using so let's connect this Control T to add the mapping nodes. Let's it this is here point. I think this is looking good now with the actual thing. Like you can see the light from this intensity and here intensity. This is looking same now. Okay. So this is looking good. Okay, guys. So for this tutorial, I'm using a corrector from the Mixamo. You can simply go into the Mixamo.com, create a new account on the website, and after creating the account, you will see interface like this. From here, you have to go to the corrector, and here you will see the corrector. Like I'm using this Sophie. Okay, so I'm using this character in my tutorial, but I have changed its color in the blender. I will show you this also. Okay, and Mixamo, and for the animation, I am using the setting idle. Click on this setting idle, and I am using this animation. Okay, in the animation, just simply click on the download. 
download with skin and just simply download the model and import the apex into the blender okay so now i have opened the blender now i will simply import the apex on the apex click on import apex okay so if we go into the shading viewport okay so now i will create a new empathy okay and select this bone Control P, select parent to the object, and now if we move this, now our object will also move with the empty. Control A. I will simply copy my character in the scene because I just want to save the time of my tutorial. Okay, let me show how I change the character uh, shirt color. So basically, I just duplicated the uh, character material and just added a node hue saturation. Like, let me show you if i just delete this and just connect this simply you will get the by default color but if you just add a user saturation node and put the value like 0 0.150 and you will get the same this color okay so now let's just let me set this character here this is looking good to me okay so okay guys so now let's import our models which we have generated with the ai into the scene Okay, let, let me first just duplicate this shoes model duplicate the material i just want to make a variation new saturation connect the node and just make it blue like this let me copy also this and make a variation okay so now let's make our animation for the animation i will just simply show you a an amazing trick so you don't have to create the animation again and again for the each model so now what i will do i will simply copy objects create a new scene paste it here so because uh, we just don't uh, by mistakenly disturb over that camera tracking scene so let's just create a new empty here plane axis okay now move it to the zero location now let's parent it to the object Okay, so now it is parented and now we just animate it by adding a keyframe by default here okay g for the by single keyframe for this it will go like this from here okay you can see it is animated and move it here to this because it will come from the ground side okay so it's like here and move it it will rotate it here okay guys so I just turn off the auto key, empty again, single arrow. Okay, like this. And this time, parent that empty animated object to this object. Okay, so now if we move, now we can easily move this key from anywhere, but the animation will be not disturbed by moving. Okay, so basically, this was that's fine. So, control Z and move it here, control copy. Let's just check it in our scene first then we'll copy this again everything it's like that empty move the animation to this okay and if we just now it has to become starting the outside this move it this side okay so like this okay you will see it in the rendered view let's check it out in material viewport so first this will open that bottom windows object will come out and this will render now if we see it in render view go into the first frame by frame mode make a new collection any objects okay now going to the previous scene now let's just check it as we have our hair models placed now just simply duplicate this and now just duplicate this collection okay any objects like this is the one like this let's keep it one and this two okay hide it the first one use the second one and here is our spot 
now let's delete this select the bag select the empty and start the object okay and now let's try it yes this is going good like this okay guys for the next model you just have to follow the same steps like create the collection and replace the object in the empty parent and just place perfectly that's it so here is my render settings like 1920 by 1080 make sure to match the frame rate with the original raw footage which is 23.98 give the directory where you want to save your renders and after that click on the rgpa color depth 16 and compression 0 and after that make sure to turn on the noise on in render i will render it around 100 samples okay and rest are the same after finishing your scene just go into the render click on the render animation and this will start quoting animation from the blender to the png alpha sequence so i will catch you after the completion of my rendering scene in the after effects okay guys now i have opened the blender now we will import our render image sequence and our raw footage into the after effects so double click here go into the location where you have saved your rendered sequence and after opening the location make sure to select the first frame like this 01 and tick that option png sequence and create composition so import it will create the composition auto automatically but here's the problem as you can see the frame rate is coming with 30 fps which is not the matching with our actual frame rate of the raw footage so right click here interpret main and type here the actual frame rate which is 23.976 okay now you can see it's now corrected now delete the composition delete and you come from the selection now it's coming with the actual frame rate so now double click here and now let's import our raw footage so go into the location where you have saved the file after selecting the file and take that option create composition because we don't need it now okay now simply drag the footage into your composition and now let's play it and check it And you can see how nicely it has merged with our raw footage and one more thing guys if you just want to collaborate it create a new layer new adjustment layer and add your lumetri effect to collaborate it and now simply get is basic correction and now i will simply just increase our vibrance so make it more color you can see now it just give it a little bit vibrance of the colors which is looking more good now so here are the all the settings you can do whatever you like you can increase the light intensity you can increase decrease the contrast whichever you like okay now it's all up to you and guys this is looking very good now you can see the tracking results which is very accurately it has merging with our raw footage and uh, and most of the fun part like the character animation which is looking very good to me and also the cg elements which we have generated from the road engine like this is insane and and let me know in the comments which thing you like the most okay guys hope you like the tutorial and learn something new if yes please give a like to this video and make sure to subscribe my channel for more upcoming amazing tutorials i will see you in the next tutorial meanwhile stay creating keep learning take care